Okay, so uh, the first uh, topic we're going to cover, he talks a little bit about the value of visualization. He says data visualization is critical to the work of data science. Uh, and uh, he's going to give us an example. So in your class folder, uh, you can find a copy of uh, all of the R uh, programs that you need for this book. And uh, the first one there looks like this. And we can see that he's creating um, a data frame. And it has a bunch of, it's um, just consists of a bunch of columns of data. So uh, we want to use this. So you have to either copy this yourself or, or get the, uh, this R file. And uh, let's put it into R to create this data frame. So I've done that here. So he says that, and so this is a, so basically we have a set of data one, another set of data, another set of data, and another set of data. So you can see this is x1, comma, we have another vec vector y1. And then there's another set of data x2, comma, y2, and so on. And now uh, we want to do some summary statistics analysis on these t four different data sets. And the first thing he does is here, is here, so uh, he says with our data set that he's just created, a data frame which he's just created, um, he prints out the summary of a regression. Remember we learned about this, this is called a linear model function, basically it makes a regression uh, relating x1 to y1, and then we do the same thing for uh, x2 to y2, and x3 to y3, and so on. Um, so he does these regressions on these four different data sets. And then you can see that he's uh, creating a PDF file here and uh, setting, uh, what's he doing here? Oh, he's going to put the results of the um, graphs all on one uh, screen so we can compare them. So that's part of visualization, is being able to compare them. And he's going to make these plots as well. But first, uh, we want to look at these summary statistics. So let's do that first. So I will run these and see what happens. OK, so I just ran them. Here they are. OK, so the first one is here, x1, y1. Next one is x2, y2 and so on, x3, y3, and so on. So what we get is, now, I, I explained how to read some of this, uh, if, even if you haven't studied regression before, but I said that uh, this here and this here are the ones that we want to look at right now, and these are, uh, will give you the re regression line. Um, sorry, so uh, for regression, um, this and this are the important parts we want to focus on. Remember that this is uh, the this is these two numbers give us the intercept and the slope for the what what we call the regression line. So like uh, just to show you, for the first data set I plotted it by doing the following. I did uh, I took uh, I said with the data frame um, plot the x1 and y1. Actually, I did it wrong. I plotted y1 and x1, which I didn't mean to do. But anyway, I'll just show you this anyway, uh, and I'll fix it. But um, and then I did uh, I plotted the a b line for the so-called regression line. So I got this. No, this isn't right. So let me fix that. So I want to change it to that. So now I get this data, and then I want to do the same AV line, and I get that. Okay, that looks much better. Interesting. Anyway, so um, 
All right. So uh, anyway, this is the regression line. Okay. So here's the first data set, and here's the regression line for it. Now, if we go back and look at all of the data sets that we had, which were from here, and then uh, I did uh, this one, and I got these numbers, and then I did it with these numbers. Yeah, sorry, with those d that set of data, the second set of data. And I get basically the same th numbers. I don't know. Let's see what were the numbers. 3.0001, and this is 3.001, so almost the same. And this is 0 .05, 0 0.5, and this is 0.5001. So almost the same. And same thing when I do it for data set uh, 3, I get almost the same thing. It was 3 and 5 approximately, or 3 and 0.5 approximately. And with the last one, it's also 3 and approximately 0.5. So I'm getting about the same uh, s uh, regression line. I can also do look at the summary statistics, which means like look at the uh, the mean and the well actually this is not the mean. So here I looked at uh, the mean for x1, the mean for x2, the mean for x3. I could have done for x4. I'm getting the same means for all of all of the data sets for x. I could also do this for y. So I could look at this data using all these tools like the mean and looking at the regression relationship and so on. Um, and these data sets uh, analytically or using these tools appear to be the same. Same data sets. We, we can't really distinguish them. The author says though that we want that an important step is to visualize as well. Not just visualize, well yeah, to visualize and uh, I, I sort of I did visualize here, but I was only show, trying to show you what what is meant by the regression line at that point. But he says you want to visualize. So what he means by this, but visualize in this case, so it's not just visualize uh, one of the graphs because that doesn't. That's we're trying to distinguish between the data sets, and uh, so just looking at one of them isn't going to do that. We want to visualize all of them, and we're going to find that these data sets are very different in spite of the fact that all these, all these tools that we have uh, show, don't, don't show that they're different. So he's saying, basically, you need to visualize because visualization helps a lot. So let's do the visualization according to the code he has. So the code he has is here to there. Let's see what it looks like. Doesn't look very good. What happened? Why not? Oh, sorry. He's doing this making a PDF file, so I have to find that file and open it up, right? It's not showing it on the screen, I guess. Okay, so I found it. So are you ready for the for the visualization, which is supposed to show us that the data is very different in spite of the fact that we got all the same analysis if we didn't do the visualization. Okay, so you can see that set one, set two, set three, and set four are very, very different kinds of data. And yet, we can't see that with just the tools that we had. So, what he's saying is, visualize. Okay? And, and as an assignment for you, uh, see if you can develop a, this is called the ANSCOM Quartet, these four data sets, called the ANSCOM Quartet. There's some scientists that made these up. Um, see if you can develop uh, a duet. Now, there's just two. You don't have to do four. Um, two very different data sets uh, with the same fitted model. So the data sets are different, but very different, but um, the fitted model, meaning the linear model that we got, gives us the same results. Just like in this case, we got, what was it, uh, 3 and 0.5 for each of the data sets. So you develop your own for homework uh, and submit it. Uh, 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 with this uh, assignment, um, show your 
data sets that you created and a uh, PDF of the results of uh, the, to show that they're uh, very different data sets and yet uh, the linear model that you get is very similar. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but it should be very similar. So I'd like you to try to work on that for homework.